Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss what is immutable class. Once the immutable classes objects are created, the objects values or the state cannot be changed. Once this is initialized, you cannot change the values. Example of uh, immutable classes, predefined immutable classes in Java are the int, long, float, uh, the primitive objects as well as the wrapper classes like integer float and string. So string uh, is immutable in nature. Uh, I'm going to discuss another day why strings are immutable. So uh, please subscribe the channel guys and let's begin. So let's see how to make a class immutable. To make a class immutable, we need to declare the class as final. Now the class which is declared as a final cannot be extended because if you can extend the class, you can override the met methods inside it. So if we declare a class as final, we are stopping the way to inherit that particular class. Now in that uh, immutable class, we should make sure that all fields should be private and final so that direct, direct access to that particular field is blocked and also once the fields are initialized within the uh, constructor, the values cannot be changed as, as we are making the fields as final. We are not going to provide any setter method inside that class so that no one can set the values or change the values. And if a mutable object reference is getting used in immutable class, then we should make a deep copy of it and refer it. Otherwise, uh, the value can get changed and the immutable class is going to uh, lose its uh, immutable property. So now uh, let's take a look at a practical example. I'm going to open Eclipse. What I have done, I have created a immutable class here, which is bank. Uh, and I've declared the class as final, so no one can extend it. And I have declared all the fields as private and final. So once these are initialized inside the constructor or at the very beginning uh, at the time of declaration, they cannot be changed in future. And as you can see, these are the getter methods. I haven't put the setter methods here. And just to print the output, the two string method is overridden. So in this class, we can see we have rate of interest as six in this bank and a name and an address. Now, if you look at this address, there's a class I have created. Now, this class is uh, not immutable. This is a mutable class because address can be changed in future. And it is having a field called state. And we have a constructor here as well and all the getter setter and the two string. Now I have created a main class. What I am doing, I am creating an object of this address class just by passing a state name. And then I am creating a bank object using the parameterized constructor. In this bank object, I am passing the bank name and the address, which I just created. And I am printing the bank. So if we uh, take a look at the output here, we can see all the values of that particular bank is getting printed. So the rate of interest, which is 6, which was uh, initially declared as a constant here. And then the name of the bank is SBI and the state is WB. Now, what I can do if if I try to change the value of this address now so what I can do I can say ADDR dot set and say we are passing Goa here and then if I try to print the bank object we can see the state of this particular, so the address of this particular immutable object is changed, which should not be the case. If bank is an immutable class, then the address should be also a constant, not it shouldn't get changed. So what we can do for that, it is happening because in this constructor, we are using the shallow copy of the address to initialize. So to overcome this problem, what we need to do here, we need to make a deep copy of this particular object and then we need to pass the value or assign the value. If you do that, then we are going to fix this problem. So for that, we need to create an, a new object of address here. We can say we can call this a DDR. 
new address and in the constructor we can simply pass the state name and instead of using the shallow copy to refer we can use this deep copy by doing this if we again if we clear our console and run the program again now we can see in both the cases the state is wb so even we are trying to change the value of the uh, state inside the uh, address object but we are not using the shallow copy we, we have started using the deep copy so right now our class is completely immutable so this is the concept on immutable class on immutable objects if you like this video please hit the like button and also uh, please subscribe this channel this is a very new channel i'm trying my best uh, to provide concepts on java so that you can understand all this concept very simply uh, I, I need your support guys um, i'm going to make a lot many videos on these topics if you want me to create any video on any particular topic please make sure you are putting a comment i'll create a video on that particular topic thank you guys